Here we have the heroes of the working class, ones who have got them out themselves out here on the picket line. Good on you. Never get any victories without you people. You're from this ground here, yeah? Good on you. We always need people to come out and have the courage to stand up, eh? Hi guys, asking you to support the workers today. They're on strike at the moment. This is Michelle. She's worked here for years. And they're just paying the workers here the minimum wage, which is 13.75. Even this man who's been working here for eight years, he's just on 14.75. The guys in here don't get a free meal on shift, like the workers do over at KFC. They don't get overtime after eight hours. So we're asking you to support the workers today and just shop maybe at the Burger King or the KFC and don't cross their picket line. Can I go to New York? Using the bathroom. Okay, use the toilet. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're thinking about doing both, but okay, we might do that and support him. Yes, <laughs> just go and shit on <laughs> Why you're here? <laughs> sure. Um, I'm from Lani. My name is Shaz, and I'm a uh, super delicate and a delicate. And um, I'm here to support my fellow um, delicates and Michelle and obviously um, Sujiva. Uh, we're striking to get um, pay rise, to get free meals, to get our workers right. Um, unfortunately, McDonald's obviously doesn't understand what we need right now. Mm. With our, um, <laughs> I'll secure ours. Um, hey, guys, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. And obviously, just to understand what we need, we don't even have to, um, you know, we have to ask for a lot of things, such as like, can we get day off on certain days? For example, me, I've been getting rostered for continuously all the weekends. I mean, at least one week or not. I mean, it's too hard. Is it too hard to ask? No. Yeah. Um, also, getting your breaks. You know, they don't give you breaks on time. Sometimes you don't get two breaks. You don't get paid either. And apparently, KFC workers do get paid for their breaks, and they're also on a yeah. higher rate, aren't they? They are yeah. right, on a higher rate. Yeah. My friend recently had to um, resign from my work because That's she wasn't getting paid properly. Her breaks. She was right. getting bullied by a manager. Oh, really? So she just decided to, you know. Um, quit because she just she was done fighting. That's awful, eh? Yeah, and she was yeah. So she was quite one of those people that has been experienced, you know, and more than me, probably around six years, seven years. Yeah. And getting treated like that is unfair. And in the end, their own greed, their own capitalist yeah. greed, will end up doing their company damage, you know. It People won't be able to afford to eat here. Workers won't be able to afford it's to work the here. The prices are getting up high, and no. Actually, workers, us workers have to put up with it because customers come and yell at us. They swear at us, and we're not allowed to swear back, and then we're not allowed to be rude to them. Mm. But we're just supposed to be there no matter what they say. We need to stand there and listen to them. So it's I reckon good. it's 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 not good. No. You know? So if a customer talks to all. me, yeah, if a customer talks to me that way and they start swearing, I'm straight up with them and I'm like, look, you don't need to sweat me. You can ask me politely, or I'm not gonna answer. And I do that, so if my manager tells me off and I'm simply, why don't you serve it? You know, I'm not going to serve customers like that. 
or you know. And, and do the management support you when this kind of thing happens? No. No. None of my regional managers or managers whatsoever, nothing at all. That's just not on, eh? That's no. Terrible. No. And yeah. in my store, like, there's a lot of racism going on. Really? Yep, a lot of them. Well, they hate me because I say stuff. Right. And I'm straight up, because it got too much for me. My yeah. hours got cut for four months. Really? Yep. From 38 to so, And they cut your hours because you speak out about un injustices and things that aren't here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and then I started speaking out. There's a lot of favoritism going on, you know. Even now, when I say stuff, they just pretend not to listen. Yeah. They don't promote you. But good for you, and you keep yeah. speaking out because it's people like you that make the difference, you know. Yeah. And your and your colleagues here, yes. it's people like you that actually bring in positive changes for the workers. Yeah, so we I'm need here to, to support this. them, you know, and hopefully a lot of other people will notice us and yes. you know support us in our cause. So exactly. Yeah. Well, thank. Hopefully for that to bring us a change. Yeah, well, good <laughs> on you. We need more workers like you getting out here on the picket line. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Hi, can you tell me who you are and why you're here? Yeah, I'm Sidhu, I'm you. my friend from McDonald's. I'm fighting for our wages because cost of living is high and our wages are still the same. Yeah. So we are struggling with our living standards. So, that's yeah, I mean, yeah. how much do you get paid an hour at the moment? Yeah, 14 25 as a crew trainer. 14.25, yeah. I mean, that's just slave wages, isn't it? Yeah, that's and, quite... And KFC gets how much? $15 per hour. Yeah. So they can't yeah. even pay as much, they won't even pay as much as what KFC. Of course, yes. That's just disgusting, isn't yeah. it? And I mean, KFC, when you think about it, it's still quite minimal. Yeah. And they won't even meet that. Yeah. That's, that's disgusting corporate practice. Yeah. yeah. I think the... McDonald's is doing better, and but still we are struggling with our life, cost Seven. of living and stuff. So yeah, seems yeah, like they've still got a long yeah. way to go. Long yeah. way to go to treat their oh, workers fairly. Of course, yes. Yeah. And what happens? Do you ever speak out about that kind of thing here? Sorry. Do you ever speak out about how unfair the wages and treatment are? Uh, actually, no, no. You don't. We have. This is the way we have to show how we feel about the of, about our living standard and stuff. Yeah. So. It can be quite intimidating too, can't it? Yeah. Speaking out when the managers can put so much pressure. Yeah. Well, you're doing it now. Yep. So good for you. Thank Hope you. you're feeling really proud Thank of yourself. You. Thanks. And when all these good changes come through, you better give yourself a big pat on the back. Yeah. Say we Thanks. helped. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I've been working for McDonald's for about um, around three years now. And still getting crap wages and crap hours. Uh, Actually, my hours have been cut back some more. Even after three years, you're still getting paid yeah. crap. Still getting paid crap. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah that's right. So, and I've got a family to feed. I've got five kids, yeah. husband, mortgage to pay. And yeah, it's... Like, all they'd have to do is just chop a bit of their greedy profit, eh? Well, that's right. That's all they'd have to do in no, the after their workers. It's like a multi-millionaire company that's nationwide, worldwide. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And now they're selling bloody Georgie pies and they still can't give us a pay rise. Six thousand eh? Per hour? Yeah. Each time? yeah. Six thousand. And I think Sylvia passed through these other crew people they went to help Big Red Lane for I think nine? Nine at nine PM to three AM. Well, so they can so. afford that but they can't afford to give us the hours, yeah. see? Yeah. But yeah, that's it's right, so. And I heard um, KFC, they're on a better rate, eh? Yeah, that's right, yeah. No, definitely. They're on like 15 75 or yep, something? Yeah, yeah. And they're they get like, paid for breaks? They get paid for breaks, they get meals. Yeah, yeah. Free meals. So, so this corporation is not even prepared to actually meet the rates of KFC. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, good on you people for putting a bit of pressure on them, eh? Because um, they've got to, so sooner or later, they've got to treat their workers right. Oh, that's right. Treat them fair, yeah. or else people won't buy their stuff. Yeah. You know, that's if you right. boycott and we go out, so we'll go to KFC. Yeah, yeah. Have a yeah. nice car there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Might even go and work there. Better pay. Yeah. <laughs> Lose all the McDonald's staff in one place. <laughs> Good on you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she's off. I was just going to go and catch her. I was just going to go and catch her and she's running away. She's running away. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a couple of still photographs.